Hey, MTG players, it's Eclectics. This is draft number six. We got lucky last draft, and although we didn't get a trophy, we went on a streak, got to plat two, and managed to stay there. Can we get to plat one? Here we go. It's drafting time. And we open a, oh my, yucko. Atarian's Journal. Oh, where are we going to open the Dracosaur? I really want the Dracosaur. We've never opened the Dracosaur. We've opened it a couple. We've opened a couple of uh, Trumpeting Carnosaurs. Maybe four already, but never the Dracosaur. And this one's a uh, rare. Terran's Journal. Sacrifice another artifact creature, draw a card. Actually, only as a sorcery. Nothing awesome in this pack except for the Diamond Pickaxe. The Diamond Pickaxe more than Oak and Siren because Oak and Siren is a common, which we might not wheel. But I think I have more fate in the Diamond Pickaxe than... than the Oak and Siren. Diamond Pickaxe for me, for red. Play Fired Bricks also is pretty good, but... No. Yeah, Guardian of the Great Door is great. Although it doesn't go well with our first pick. Guardian of the Great Door is really, really good. Plus, we're not uh, passing anything in white here. Restless Ridgeline is really, really good as well. On the wheel, what can we get over here? White and blue? Blue with Waylaying Pirates. I really like Guardian of the Great Door, although it, it has double white. This one's pretty good as well, though. Do we trust in the Dinos? I think we trust in the Dinos because it goes very well with the Diamond Pickaxe. We already passed white, so someone's go so our colleague here is going to <laughs> our neighbor here is going to pick white. Go ahead and pick white. We can pick up blue with this. We can grab green as uh we can't there's no green. Okay, so white is actually up. Look at very carefully. White is up. I think we're going to pick up blue. White is here with Fabrication Foundry. Very against our first pick. If we first pick the Oaken Siren, then second pick the, uh, the Angel, maybe would have been a better, better spot. But here we are. We uh, Calamitous Cave in. Nope. All right. We'll take the, the dino here. Pretty good. I like the dino. Otherwise, it's Attentive Sunscribe. <laughs> so if we had taken Guardian of the Great Door, Oak and Siren, we'd be blue-white right now. But as it is, we're taking these. Kind of red green red blue or whatnot there's another white awesome card oh wow we really missed that one maybe it's not too late i don't know right now we're pushing with the green but here's another white card you know what forget it Let's go ahead and see if we can forge something with staggering size. Staggering size more than uh, Idol of the Deep King. Sure. Man, Staunch Crewmate. What the heck? Okay. Staunch Crewmate. Because it can be a thing. Has the best upside. But yeah, here's a uh, glorifier suffering. So if we, we really, uh, 
our neighbors here our neighbor here is white for sure if he doesn't take white i don't know what he's taking fix fixes Pond, six care, salted earth, eight nine eight, eight nine eight. What? Whoa! The Millennium Calendar. Whoa! Not our thing. Dowsing device can be a thing, but that on four is just awesome. We'll take it. So our blues are really good. Our green is also really good. Red is May. Not seeing any red cards. Our first pick. Uh, no, this is the second pick, right? First pick was what? No, this is the first pick. First pick was a uh, diamond pickaxe. Should have taken the. So if our first pick was the uh, the uh, artifact that had a plus one plus one, would have gotten the angel. I think would be in a better spot, but as it is, we're trying to go dinos. Yeah, we'll take that. Sure, can be a thing. Red, green again. Red, green, kind of dinos. Red, green, kind of dinos is fine with me. I'm not taking poetic ingenuity again. I don't know how to make it work. Need a lot of artifacts to make that work. It'll be an artifact deck. Rather than anything else. I think that's one of the uh, traps. It's a trap card. At least from my experience with it. I mean, I've had two chances to make it work. And both chances were kind of failures. We are loading up on force here. But the red green is shaping up fine. Red, green, turning out dinos. So, hopefully we can pick up a lot of dinos. Blue looks good, but... And they are both pirates, but... Ooh. Alright. You know what? Forget that. I want to take the nurturing bristle back here. Again, dino, big dinos will let us, yeah. Because the volatile dude is fine, but Burning Sun's Cavalry on two is much better. Huh. Nothing for us here. The Presence of Aegis might be, uh, might be good. In the Presence of Aegis is, uh, what? Creature card and... Land. It's looking like this right now. This will keep uh, giving us more stuff. That's not a thing, but it's what we picked. All right, seems Mentasaur is actually really good if to make that work. This one is also pretty cool. Not a thing. <laughs> Fought against that car and it's been pretty bad. Dracosaur, Dracosaur, Dracosaur. Dracosaur! No. We'll take the uh, Cavern Stomper here. Best out of this pack is of course Restless Reef. There's Bitter Triumph here. This one on six should be on point. This pack is lackluster. Well, dowsing device is pretty good. Of course, it requires Captain Storm to work. But this one, I'm happy with this one. Yep. Uh, 
Sunshine Militia on this is not so bad. On the wheel, maybe walk with the ancestors is okay because we can have this on two and then take it back with walk with the ancestors for value. That can happen so we can uh, make sure of land drops. Crumbling rock slide here versus eaten by piranhas. So we don't have removal yet. That'll be our first removal. Is it required? Is it better than Dinatomaton? I don't know, but Rumbling Rock Slide is a form of removal. So we're going to... Yes, Geological Appraiser more than a Braid. A Braid's not going to wheel, but Geological Appraiser on four. This is past three. That might be wrong, though. I'm just going to take a braid. Yeah, I love Geological Appraiser, but we have quite a bit of fours already. I think a braid will serve the deck better than Geological Appraiser. Although Geological Appraiser, there was... Oh my god, yes. Man, I want this whole pack. It's Quince, Dinatomaton. Any of these guys wheeling would be fine, but this is a great pickup. It's Quince. Let's pick up more. Can we get the 4 3 now, dude? Now, all right, walk with ancestors here. Throne of the Grim Captain. <laughs> all right, since we're not gonna get anything from this pack, really, or not use anything, we're gonna grab the throne. The throne also is okay. So, dinosaur. So far, we're dinosaur only. We're not going to use any of these other ones. Well, yeah, let's take the uh, a braid. Yeah, yeah. Second a braid. Now, I kind of regret taking the uh, a braid over geological appraiser because a braid here. There's also a Tali's Favor and this, and I think we're not going to get any of these back. Of course, Staggering Sides can wheel, but a braid here is great. Yeah, Burning Sun's Cavalry here. Ooh, shaping up to be a pretty good uh, dino deck. We just need a top end, which is like... Uh, Seismic Monster Sword can also work, right? Instead of Hidden Volcano. Yeah, let's take the Seismic Monster Sword. So our top end is filled. Yeah. This is our original pack, and like I said, it's either... Sunshot Militia, which I don't think is better than Walk with the Ancestors. Yeah, Walk with the Ancestors because we can uh, cycle these two out and then walk it. Malamed Sight here is great. It is awesome. Oh, is it the Explorer's Cache or Malamed Veteran? Five versus two. This will let us crash. We haven't seen... What are you doing? I think it's 2 versus the 5. 4 versus... Top end. I think 4 is great. 17. Another walk. It's fine. We're not using it. Top end. Dracosaur, please. Dracosaur! Come out! Souls of the Lost. I'm taking a uh, Kin Collar here uh, instead of the Trashing Brontodon. Brontodon is great, but this actually lets us go through, right? Is the heal better than 3-4 uh, straight up? Fine. Let's 
uncommon versus a common. Is it better? We're gonna have to see that. What the heck? You come out and play now? That is an awesome card, but this guy's pretty good. And on theme. <laughs> Proper rock theme. There's also rumbling rock slide here. Wow. This is a jam pack pack. Or we're taking the scythe claw raptor here. We already have cavern stomper. This is on point. We kinda need a couple we need Watley's final strike. A couple more it's quints maybe. Watley's final strike is great. Please. Like that, yeah. Ask and you shall receive. Yep, a couple more Watley's final strike, please. A couple more of those would be awesomeness. Maybe you pass us Palani's Hatcher or another awesome dino. That would be awesome as well. That would be great, but Watley's here in this spot is awesome. Do we get it? Nope. All right, another Watley's. That's making the deck for sure. Now I just need something better. Uh, placements for this. It's Watley's for sure. Religion Yearling. Yep. Religion Yearling more than uh, our third Burning Suns Cavalry. But if that wheels, it's okay. In the presence of ages. I think this will be the deck. We just need improvements for... Explorer's Cache for maybe, come on, uh, it, another It's Queens would be great. Another It's Queens. No, no, another It's Queens. I think this is the deck. Uh, maybe another top end. Battle Glyph. All right. This is crucial. Battle Glyph or... All right. You're gone, I think. You're gone for the Battle Glyph. We are sold on fours. Another removal is fine. Or is it Exali's Lore Keeper? Another removal, I think. Alright, four with the Dinatomaton. What can we take out for the Dinatomaton? Nothing. Oh, the Scythe? The Scythe's a pretty cool trick, though. Is it better than Malamit? Staggering size is even better than Malamit. Alright. Kaparakti wield? What the heck? No way. No one's in Boros. I'm not taking that card. Ooh, that is an awesome uh, wheel. <laughs> nah. Too much. <laughs> wow, we are full up on dinos. But we did not get a lot of the awesomeness dinos. We don't have any rares in this. 
the only rare pickup we have is well no we have a couple we have restless ridge line which we're going to use and uh the throne other than that we got nothing so um we have to get one out i think it's the uh it's the pathfinding axe y'all right How many playables do we have? One, two, three, four. No, one, two, three. We are high, not high on tools. Well, we do need them. We need 17 lands. Oh, uh, yeah. Take you out. Dynatomaton more than Pathfinding Axe sure. Or is it Pathfinding Axe more than... No, it's Dynatomaton more because we have Menace. Three top ends and one walk with the Ancestors. So we can grab these guys. Yep. Grab one. Discover four. Yeah, awesome. Okay. Battlemet Battle Glyph more than... The uh, Malamet Scythe. Okay. Are we more green than. No, we're evened out. Yep. Okay. Another Gruel Dino deck. This time, let's feature Dino Tomaton. We have a couple of abrades. We have Rumbling Rock Slide. We have the Malamut Battle Glyph. Let's go. We just need to curve out. Keep drawing the... Uh... Oh, we didn't get the kin collar. We didn't get the kin collar back, but we did get the... Uh... We have trashing Brontodon, so... Ooh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Don't have a dino on three, but... are not going to trade with this right now. Yeah, nope. So, we don't have anything here. I think if we no block, we have a chance for next turn. Yeah, no blocks. Because we can... Basically, get rid of that. We developed the board first, Itali's favor, battle clip. Yep, that's going to die. Then, if you attack, all right, then that's dying a hundred percent. No, 
box. Lockers. Brackish, right? I could have won that turn, but it was Brackish was the one that I'm I was looking out for. Can he counter? I don't know. He's going to attack. Okay. Okay, okay, you left yourself up for that. Brackish was the only play he had on with blue and... And if he had casted the... Uh, Yeah, we didn't have enough. We it wasn't a sure thing. Sure. So we're going to slow this this thing down. And cast it on 3 instead. If we draw a dino though, I am not going to hold this. I'm just going to cast it. But if we don't so I'm just gonna hold it. Oh. He also doesn't have anything. He might actually do. What is this, too? Um. I don't. Then Malamit. No. I think I'm gonna hold it. What could he have on three? White, black. He could have totes. He could have a number of things on three. He could have the one, four, and we can't kill it. All right. He's not playing anything, so. Are we going to hold this? I think we're not going to, right? On four, there's a lot of draws on four that we can get. If he does join the dead here, I don't mind. Yeah, like this. So it's either rumbling rock slide or on four we have that. It's rumbling rock slide this. Cause on five we can have Dynatomaton and then Battle Glyph, whatever he, he has on field. That's four toughness. We can get rid of it with a counter on Dynatomaton. Wow, really? He's got joined the dead for sure.
<laughs> okay. Sure. He's got five on this. <sighs> yeah, he's got another join the dead. Do we let him? I think we're just gonna do this. Uh-huh. Sure, join the dead this. Better try him. Okay, I accept. Bitter Triumph for the leech. He's got, um, he probably has it, right? Um, defossilize. Hmm. Sure. Mm, he's been sandbagging stuff. stuff on the board so okay he has black though yeah okay fine he's gonna craft that with two creatures that's a uh, what exactly a five four menace. Okay.
Hmm. What is he, uh, what is he waiting for? Three, we can, right? He's waiting for something. I don't know what exactly he's waiting for, but I think we'll do the, uh, more thingamajig. All right. Petrify. Ooh, great. Okay, die. What was that? <laughs> Some okay, uh, that's that's not on me, dude. You didn't notice that you you were you were on seven. That was so weird. That block was so weird. So you block this guy survives and you die. Huh? Don't understand that. All right. Well. Okay. That was a major punt from our opponent. Okay, well, but we're chugging along. Yeah. Kind of need to draw lands, please. So if we don't do this, he starts off with that. We can trade it off, but it's a permanent. It's pretty useful, though. I think we're just going to... Yeah, we'll trade it off. It's too useful. Nah, we can't trade it off now. Yikes. Okay. What we should have done is kept a braid up. We can't. Whew. And he has a play. All right. We can double block it. We're not getting lands. Not great. What else could he have? Can't have protection. All right. Well, we're... Uh not attacking, unfortunately. Hmm? So... That's way too dangerous to leave. Land, please. Hmm. <sighs>
can't now. He's gonna be able to kill this dude as well. Should top it first. Yep, he is. Yep. He's gonna kill it as well. Alright, cool. So this will only work if we have five to we'll two for one ourselves. Well, we should be able to, right? Five. That's if he doesn't have anything. Right, six. He has seven? Yeah. Two. Now he can't. Oh, God. <laughs> That decision on two, and we uh, were strapped for uh, lands. That that was really bad. I can't block this now. Now we'll die. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! And it all began because I let him have the. Uh, Again, not ha- Need lands. Jump and this. Yeah, that spells the end for us. Oh no. Whoa! Well, it'll get rid of both. Um, the next turn we're dead anyway. Whatever happens, yeah. Three, seven, six, seven. We're still dead. It'll still take both out. Yeah, we're kind of dead here in this spot anyway. Because he's just going to go ahead and ping both. We were foiled every step of the way. Hi, hi, hi. No lands. I was all because of lands. We couldn't get any lands. Unfortunate. Ooh, we even have the rumbling rock slide. All right. We concede. No lands really spelled the end. But yeah, the decision where we had a braid, but we did not leave it up was really, really bad. If we had, he wouldn't have been able to attack for three. We would have been able to take out uh Itali's favor it would it would have been so sweet we would we we should have just kept it up we should have just kept it up it would have taken his turn no early action but I mean, do we even get out of this? We, our earliest turn is turn four. Let's find out if he's a fast deck green. No, but we don't have action. Draw action, please draw action. Well, we got action next turn, but he puts down a dino right now. We're no, 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 no. Frog is great. Mm. 
rumbling rock slide will spell the end of us if he rumbling rock slide this one. Yep. No action. Still no action. Ooh, he wasn't able to play on. But he can play a six drop, though. This is four, right? Yeah, it is. Ooh. Huh. Now we have... I don't think he has Petrify or what, but 656. Six. Now we can do something. We need action. What is this? Double a braid? Even that one's pretty good. Not good enough. Alright. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Cute. This is three, this is fine. Twelve, five, six, seven, plus he'll block with five, eight. Because on the next turn, Okay. Surprise plus six. Cause on the swing back, he thinks he can go ahead and swing back for lethal. Yeah, I know.
where did we pick up a car? Oh, the very last one for the staggering size, right? Like, the very end of, I think, pack two, where we picked up our second staggering size. Or is it pack three? But we actively drafted one staggering size. And then we wheeled the other one. Which is great. Exactly. We're in this spot. Man, we we're so behind as well. Like, we didn't draw any early action. Hope we can draw early action, please. Yo, whoa. Okay. Okay. I guess. He's first, so we'll, we'll here we go again in this spot. So we're not going to cast that. We're instead going to see if he does something and we can abrade that. Okay. How about no? One? I don't think you have a green for one. So now we're up. Oh, we should have played this. More damage. Yep. More damage. We'll happily trade for two with this or not. We'll keep that. He has to remove one. We still have one on board. Oh. Now we can't attack. We'll have to keep the rumbling rock slide. Yikes. We'll trash this to get another one. Six. Unless you can remove something. All right. Six, seven. We're still okay with this. He attacks though. So that's going to kill that. Uh, it'll be fine. All of these guys would be okay. On six, a braid, yeah, okay, we're fine. We should have taken one out though, I guess, or maybe this. Okay. The six six, sure. Uh.
should have blocked with both so he didn't take the damage. Whoa, okay. If you both block with this. Maybe I should have attacked as well with the Burning Sun's Crusade. Because if I... Yeah, maybe I should have. Because they would both block that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I should have attacked with the Burning Sun's Crusade as well. That's an extra 3 damage. A big dino, extremely big dino. Right, gonna have to not attack now. He has more stuff than we do, yeah, because of the hidden volcano. Ooh. It's six, so we can get something. Ooh, we can get Pugnacious. Ouch. Oh, he... No, he exiled it. Oh, Pugnacious, he didn't exile. All right. Wow, okay. We can cast Pugnacious now. But Pugnacious can't even attack because we have a 7-7. Seven, seven. We are going to block with this. I ain't taking 20. <laughs> Power 2 or less. And we've drawn a land. We are outgunned, unfortunately. What are we doing? 15. Yeah, no, he even has that. Okay. 
Hmm. Oh, cool. Um, nurturing Bristleback, walk with the ancestors. Its quints would be so good. Its quints would be so good. Ooh. That 3-3 three, three is gone. The 2-2 two, two is gone, I mean. Doink. gonna craft it with what oh he does he's got quite a bit of artifacts uh he's down 15 we have 20 we have quite a bit of action uh it's quint is our best staggering size is great Okay. Mm, we're not drawing action. So far, he's got six and eight, nine. He got ten. He's got twelve actually, because of the oh, he even did a captivating cave. How? How is a captivating cave there? From. From I don't know what. Huh? How did you have a captivating cave? Without it having a cap... Oh, I don't know. We'll play out the land. We got Huatli's final strike. We got... Uh, it's Quinn's staggering sizes would be so good as well. Mountain Battle Glyph is not bad as well. Really not great draws. That's the third land or fourth land in a in a, in a row. Top deck wars and he's got the panicked Altasaur now. Hmm. Four lands on the top of the deck. Four lands on the top of the deck. I shit you not. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. We've drawn more lands than our opponent. We've drawn more lands than our opponent. Because he's only got 13. So he's bound to draw more action now. Yeah, now he's got that. Oh, yeah. We're dead. He top deck better than us. He didn't even draw the ridge line land. Okay, this is the end for us then. Okay. So we can't even... So everything's gonna die. Because we have to uh, put a stop to that. Oh, okay. That was weird.
That is an artifact. Indeed. How did you draw more than we did? Oh, because of Sahidi's Lattice. And he was taking stuff out with the hidden nursery and the hidden volcano. There's it, Squint. He's gonna alpha next turn, then what? Yeah, we're definitely dead here. Um, it's just a matter of how we're going to uh to die -o. Nice. We still have one, we still have a couple of staggering sizes, so maybe if we can keep it, we'll be able to do something with it. Malamut Battleglyph. Of course he has that as well. Equip and then attack. Hmm. Hmm. Still don't know what spot you're in with this. If you attack, basically ensure something. Okay. So what happens if I trade this off here? Um. Yeah, we can't, right? 
So if I chomp, what? He'll have four. Yeah, I can't block with all this. But it's three. I can block two. I'll still survive. What else can, can we get? No, I think I'll have to block. I'll have to block like this. Staggering size is not going to help because how many cards does he have? Eight. We have 12. He's going to deck before us, but Burning Suns, we, we, uh, Burning Suns Cavalry on, oh, three lands at the bottom. So, uh, yeah, that's not going to help a lot. Okay. Seven, four. We'll have four, but we lose all. You'll be left with one. And then next turn, you're hoping for no land. We draw the ridge line. Nurturing Bristleback is right now our best draw. Oof. Exactly. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14. He's got three lands there. He only has four playables. He only has four playables. We have two, three, four. Four playables as well. But three of them are at the bottom. We only have four lands. Oh, we only have what? We only have four lands. We only have four lands. Great. So please don't draw a land. Well, there's one. The three lands are at the bottom. So the only land we'll draw is quite useful to us. The only land we'll draw is quite useful to us. The only land we'll draw is quite useful to us. Awesome. Please draw it. One, two, three, four, five, six, versus five. Four. Why? Because it's squint with walk with the ancestors should kill something, right? If we draw walk with the ancestors, it should kill something, sure. This is going to kill us. So we can't. Hmm. Four. So maybe he does something bad and the swing back is going to. Oh my God. We have four. 
It's going to kill me. It's going to kill me. It's going to kill me. It really will kill me. If we attack with this... So if that attack, he should be down to seven, four. He should be down four right now. All of our draws are going to be gas. All of our draws will be gas. Did we lose because I did a screw up? Maybe. That still doesn't kill us. I block with this. I block with that. Uh... Did I lose? Nope, six, it's totally fine. Lock like this, lock like this. This is six. Yep. And he doesn't have anything, so we just attack for the win. Cool. He killed himself. Woo! I think all he had were lands. I think all he had were lands. Calculated. Kind of. <laughs> we had him. Because the staggering size really won't be doing anything. It'll hit us for eight. We have the uh, the dino, and he has the dino that that does for four. On his turn, I would die down to one if we staggering size. Yikes! I think that was the right play. Anyway, we we got it. Yeah. But our draws were very much alive. Like, if we uh, drew Walk with the Ancestors, we'd be able to get back its squints, cast its squints, get rid of his 5-5. Five five. Yeah. Yep. Right? We're at four wins with uh, an awesome Dino deck. Whew, that was a game. That was a game. Mm. Again, we got no action. No early game. Life typically starts at 3. This is fine. Do 
we guarantee four? I think we guarantee four, sure. Yep. That we got our braid, right? Yep. We can't have him loot. We take that out. We have five already. Sure. Okay. That's quite an upgradable target. It's gonna crash in for three. I think that's fine. White, red, blue. Okay. So we have seven, we shouldn't have binned it. Right, discover four. It might be it's quince, it's quince. Come on, come out. Breed, you have what ward two? Nice. We're taking this if he attacks. Except for the okay. Okay. So we rock slide first. I guess he's going to do something with that. Okay. Cosmo now? No. Okay. 
Can he remove both? Can he remove both? Green, white, I don't think so. I don't think so. So if he attacks, we're blocking. Yeah, that's fine. Four versus four, but that's, uh, and he has brackish. The swing back is going to kill us. We'll hang tight. So this is... Four, yes, we can. Okay. So we'll have uh, five attackers next uh, turn. And all of them are live. All right. Now he's at five. He has two and he wants to, hmm, nope. If he decides to block this, we should be fine, right? Cool. Whew. Well, we got to five. All right, let's continue to chug. Oh boy, we can get green.
we're first, so... Pretty good. Cycle this to get a forest. Hopefully that's not a counter on this, but it's a 4-3 versus a 1-2. Get up into the land. Do a land. Lodestone's not bad. I mean, nurturing Bristleback is too, but I think Seismic Monster Sword is the correct uh, pick here. exactly happens if we crash with this one he keeps playing stuff so white blue I'm, I still fear unstable so if we attack this is rumbling rock slide one not really four I think it's this one So five If he leaves mana up If he clears the board No He doesn't have unstable Okay Starts with this, right? And then we have three. We got no attacks, though. We have we we don't have great attacks. Like the best is this still four. Let's rumbling rocks like this. That's not even great. What happens if we just crash with this? Uh, 
braids useful for so many things so we're just gonna staggering size this return sure <laughs> it's not bad five Should have played this out first, though. Ah! All right. All right. Now we're ready. Now we're ready for some stuff. I should have played this out first so he doesn't have a choice. Because if he did that, yeah, bold. I didn't mean to do that, by the way. I didn't see if he, it was top or bottom. All right, take four. That is a scry though, right? No, it's an explorer. Okay. Tack. Tack is no problem. Okay. Do we just win? Three rumbling rocks like this. Um, he'll still block, block this. I don't know what he could have, but I think we're okay with this. So this is four, this is three, um, we'll go get rid of this, can we just win right now, this is six, yeah, but maybe you'll have something, I don't know, let's see. Just not a saw blades. Yeah, that's not a thing. All right, we're out. Whew. 
Phew. All right, we got to one. Let's push it to a trophy. Come on, come on, just one more. This deck is awesome. And that's without rares. Well, one rare. The ridge line, the land, which we have used once. We've won with it once. King number six, I believe. Win number five. The thing that lacks in this deck is really the early game. Like, if we... <laughs> our life basically starts at either three or four. Four, mostly. Because most of our uh, good stuff is in four. Pathfinding Axe Jaw, the Dynatomaton. Yeah, so if we don't draw any lands here, we're kind of screwed. On three, again, we have the Malamed Battle Glyph for Burning Sun's Cavalry. I think what we'll do, we'll keep it. But we won't play Burning Sun's Cavalry on two. We'll have it up for the Malamut Battle Glyph. Especially if we don't draw anything. But maybe we'll, we'll, if we draw land within the next two turns, we'll just play out Burning Sun's Cavalry. Because we can have Malamut Battle Glyph and Staggering Size on Burning Sun Cavalry on three. Because we're not starting. Imagine if we had the uh, Hidden Nursery or the Restless Ridge Line. Restless Ridge Line here would be so good. Restless Ridge Line. So since we have that dino, I, oh, we don't have three. Okay, we still. No. Still better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are we going to discard? No, seven. Yeah, we're going to have to do the seismic monster source since we weren't guaranteed a land. He's doing the same thing. Oh, no. Braid or something is going to screw us up. Or that. <laughs> if we do this, if we decide to do this, on five, we can't really have anything on point. Like, the best over here is the Battle Glyph. Staggering size with the uh, Battle Glyph right now. I mean, if he has something, but this is 8 damage. Staggering size, Battle Glyph, right? No. We just do this then. We need a land. Nope. We'll attempt to block, but he can have... That's a pretty looking forest. What is this? Streets of Nukapena. If he decides to attack... 
we're kind of screwed. Oh, uh, we can't even use staggering size. All right. If you can't really do anything, it's staggering size and the Malamid Battle Glyph. Yep. It'll have to be that because... Wow! Itali's favor. On what? Land... Land would be awesome. Alright, we are blocking. If we double block this, right? This is not... Uh, this is 5-4. We still have this, so he can't react to us. I think that's what we're going to do. Is it? No, I think it's this one. Yep. All right, that's fine. Nice. So this is going to be a four. It's also a four. We can't do it. Man, holy crunks. Even if we get a counter on this, it's just going to die. He needs to play like a... And he already has that dude. So our play is what exactly? This. Huatlis? No. Can't we have to kill that for sure? So it's probably this. Nope, it's staggering size and it's staggering size and this. Malamut Battle Glyph doesn't really do anything. X, one, two, three. We can kill... What? Staggering size. Huatlis and Malamit. Staggering size. We can use this later on. It's Huatlis. Four. We're now blocking this. Well, we can't block it because of Italis. Ay, ay, ay. <sighs> and one, two, three, four, five. So he's going to be seven. We're going to die. <laughs> I can't block this six. Man, finally. Oh, that's pretty good.
land and then that will equate to having it's queens <laughs> yeah our opponent really has everything so unfortunate and he's attacking six so we have to block yeah we gotta block that's gonna have to yep oh man didn't give us a break Did not give us a break. We're down to one. It squints here, but... So if we had got gotten rid of... No, even if we didn't get rid of the uh, that dude. Yeah, there's no way out. So we didn't draw land. We were... Yeah, unfortunately... Like even if we ha if we have another land, this would work to get this this out, but that was five. So we essentially wasted this. Yeah. All right. Well. All right. Cool. Huh. Okay. Final boss. Final, final boss. That was pretty difficult. The, uh... Because he kept playing into something and removing something from us. No, no, no. It was the damage. We shouldn't have attacked? So we could trade? Maybe that was the play? We shouldn't have attacked, so so we trade. But then he removed something from us. He had the removal as well, so no. I couldn't piece together in that one turn where we had Huatli's and... Because Malamut is going to just... Okay. This is fine. We, we're not starting again. Oh, no. Come on. Nope. Red, blue. Whew, the wet glyph avoided. But we have a lot of flyers. to two I think we still do it we still get rid of the artifact because of zoetic glyph yeah it's really unfortunate
we got it. I don't know what he had. I don't know what he had, but he, we kept just having tempo for some reason. We were able to remove something, have something. He's got five mana and a lot of cards in hand. I think he's lacking one color. I think he's lacking one color. He's got like white probably white cards but he's got blue and red lands i think that's what it was all right well that was not an exciting finish but yeah the deck did what it did best which was to well i don't know much about it but it's queens removing one then uh with malamut battle glyph and a counter on dynatomaton removing the uh Shipwreck Sentry, it was amazing. And the next turn, we have 10 damage on board with 3 in the pocket. So, and playing Restless Ridgeline. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think it'd be, uh, he won't be able to catch up. Because 3, even if he attacks. Yep. Alright, cool. Uh, yeah, we take those, we take those, we take those. So again, the deck doesn't really feature uh, rares. Just one rare, which was a land. Most of them were uh, dinos, though. This is an on-theme dino deck. Featuring four drops. Three dino automatons, two pathfinding axe jaws, an it's quint, right? And the scythe claw raptor. Which actually worked out for us in one game where he played the, uh, took four. We also took four of that game because of my mistake. I, I played, uh, I don't know what I played. I think uh, staggering size. But yeah, we had two staggering sizes, which we were able to actually capitalize on on one game where the opponent was down to 11. We had uh, Cavern Stomper in play. And we attacked, opponent didn't block, and we were able to, yeah. And he was tapped out, so there was no response from him. Uh, double staggering size on the Cavern Stomper for 13 damage, and he was at 11 life, so we were able to, uh, yeah, that was lethal. The only time where I think I misplayed was when... We didn't play uh, the Scythe Claw Raptor in our turn and attacked. We should have played it before attacks because he responded on our attack with a Brackish on the Seismic Monster Sword. I mean, if he did that, he would have taken four damage. He would have taken four damage. So, yeah, that's the only glaring thing. On the last, on the second loss, the game where we, we lost the second time, I really couldn't chain together or I, 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 I didn't really know what to do with, with my hand. We had one creature in play. We had five mana and we had the Malamet Battle Glyph with Huatli's Final Strike. I have a chance to remove, no, I don't have a chance to remove both. That's, that's what was happening. It was like staggering size and then Malamut Battle Glyph. This is kind of because it's a fight spell, not uh, not like Watley's Final Strike where it just deals down. This is punch. This is a uh, fight. Punch is better than fight, but I mean, I really couldn't chain together uh, what to do. I had we had this. Battle Glyph, the Watley's Final Strike, and Staggering Size. Five mana. This was the only thing. And we we also had this dude. So I was like, Burning Sun Scavery? And he wouldn't play a creature we couldn't remove. Like, <laughs> it really was bizarre. Uh, it's either our opponent saw our hand or he had, like, spider senses. Don't play a two drop. Or he didn't just... He didn't really have a two drop or something that was below three uh, uh, three toughness. So 
we couldn't capitalize on the Malamet battle grip. Like, but like on the last game, we had a uh, three toughness creature, which improved to four, and he had a two toughness creature. Because even if it was three toughness, we could still do it. But he had a three toughness creature. No, he yeah. Our opponent had like more power than toughness, so he had a four three, five four. <laughs> We two for one ourselves if we did a battle glyph. Our creature would die, his creature would die, and we'll lose battle glyph, so two for one. Maybe that was the right play. Maybe that was the right play, so we didn't lose that game, but uh yeah. Hmm. Anyway, we still got the trophy from the pile of cards. And the only um uh, rares we got on this draft is Restless Ridgeline and uh, the throne. Where's the throne? Here's the throne. It's a rare. We haven't really uh <laughs> explored this. One of these days, we're gonna go ahead and explore it. But I am not that adventurous. Like this needs the uh. It's best in the black green shell. It's best in the black green shell where you have dinosaurs from green. Like the Pathfinding Axe Jaw, uh, Thrashing Brontodon, where you can sacrifice, you can pick it up from the graveyard as well. Have a uh, destroy an artifact or enchantment. Black green. This is the best shell for Throne of the Grim Captain. One of these days, we're we're gonna get this uh, get this on the play and and have it. But I think those are kind of a meme deck, like exploration decks. If you're ranking up. Not a good idea to uh, to explore this on uh, rank up draft. I mean, maybe, but you really need to uh, be on the lookout for uh, the dinosaur, merfolk, pirate, and vampire. And there are very few, uh, even in black and green. There's a lot of dinosaurs in green. Very low pirate count in black. There's that freebooter. Uh, is there even a pirate in green? I don't think so. So you'd be on the lookout for the freebooter for from black for a pirate vampire. You got a couple of them with the uh, you got a couple of uh, there's quite a bit of uh, black vampires, but yeah, so it means you, you're gonna have to do three colors probably, maybe go into red or white. So I don't know. It's tough to build. It's basically a build around. Once you get it, if you open it, you build around. We didn't open this, by the way. We didn't uh, open it. We opened not so great. We weren't. I, I don't even remember what we opened in the packs, but yeah, we didn't keep it. We didn't uh, pick any of it. I uh, don't even remember our first pick here. This was a wheel. That was very surprising. This was a wheel. We even had an extra Pathfinding Axe Draw and Nurturing Bristleback, but yeah. I was also thinking about putting in In the Presence of Ages, but this deck really requires you be on active, uh, an active, uh, active on the board, I mean. Like, uh, you can't be stalling with, dirtling with the In the Presence of Ages, oh, uh, you know, for value like uh, you have with black green, black green is like, and black red, th they're the value decks in the set where you put down a death toucher, uh, you go ahead and grab a uh, mill two cards, grab a couple of creatures, that sort of thing. You can't be dirtling with the deck. You're, this kind of deck, you should be attacking each and every turn. Uh, chance of attacking each and every turn. Yeah, and putting bigger, better creatures on the board that your opponent can't play against. When you get to six, seven with the Cavern Stomper and the Seismic Monster Sword, it's basically game over. Like what happened in most of the games where we, we just... Even in the last game, we just tempoed out, like... He played a creature with very small creatures, flyers, sure, but small creatures, and we were like thrashing Brontodon into 
it's squints, remove a creature, and then Dynatomaton, remove with Malamut Battlegriff, and, and you got 10 power on bo board versus 3 power on board. Yeah, that's what the deck is supposed to be doing. So, yeah, rule dinos again, getting us a trophy. Let's claim it. Woo! And on to the next one. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, why don't you smash that like button? Please consider subscribing and check out my other vids. See you on the next one.